Okay, I want to show you a trick that I learned. So right now the machine's sewing amazing, and sometimes it does not, like you were saying. And the reason I think actually it's happening is because probably myself and yourself, I don't know, uh, I'm guessing, do not know how to thread this properly, which sounds crazy, but it has a very specific procedure that you have to do. So I'll sew one time. I've been sewing a bunch on this fabric just to test it out. And I will still cut it manually because the cutter does not cut properly. But yeah, amazing stitches. So let's say you're done. So the first thing you need to do is this holder here needs to be all the way out to the right. It cannot be closed in the closed position. It doesn't put the correct uh, tension on it. So it has to be open. That creates some tension here as it goes inside that first sensor. But let's say we're done and we want to swap it out because it's low or you want different uh, colored thread. You always pull it out through the needle side. You never pull it out through the side that the top holder is on for the thread. So that's that's number one thing to notice. Number two is it's very picky. So it has to have the door open uh, for the thread holder. It cannot be in the closed position. You have to pull basically two feet out and you will pinch the thread so it has tension. There's, you can see a line. It's not sagging. It needs to be tight. And then as you do that, you feed it into the first sensor up here. And this, this sensor over here on the right by your hand is the first sensor it needs to basically see the thread. And so what they recommend you do is while holding tension, set your hand here on the machine so it's not difficult while keeping tension. And you have to keep tension. You can kind of, you know, let it slowly go through your fingers, but keep tension on it at all times on the right hand as you're pulling to the left. Then come into the sense uh, through the normal threading position. And you can hear it's it's like making like almost like a piano string. It has a lot of tension in it. And then um, keep that tension on your right hand and thread it like you normally would. Um, in this left um, guide, make sure you push back towards the machine. So like, I'm over exaggerating, but way back here, you know, you're, you wanna push backwards. And then keep holding, you never let go of tension on your right hand side. And then you'll come straight up. As you wrap it over, you come straight down. You don't come forward. And they're saying if you come forward, it'll cut the, the thread too short. So you always come directly down towards the base and cut it downwards. Okay, now that it has the correct tension on the machine, you can now let go with your right hand. Then all you have to do is push the threading needle button. It'll thread it, and how you'll know it'll be properly threaded is it'll create a V with the thread. And so now, if I go to sew, um, I'll do it on the far left here. I'll push the foot to bring down, and then I'll start sewing. And then I will lift it, and I will lift the needle, and I'll pull it out, and I'll inspect it. And it's absolutely perfect. So they said this is the number one step that 90% of people miss is somehow with these mechanisms as you're auto-threading it, it, that's how it knows how to do the correct tension on the fabric. When the foot goes down, it can sense how much fabric this is, how thick it is, and then also the tension of the needle. So if you were to loosely put it through here, it doesn't know how to tension that thread properly, apparently. So also um, a few more with it, but um, it's made a huge difference since I've done that. I cannot get it to mess up now. It just sews beautifully. And so then I'll come up, up again, and then I will pull it and cut it. Yeah, it's perfect. There's not like any loose fabric on either side of the, you know, any uh, loose threads on either side. It looks absolutely perfect. That makes a huge difference. And then again, you'll always cut on this side and pull from the needle side when you're replacing the thread. So they actually said, make sure you get in the habit of just like resting your hand here while holding tension with this hand as you feed it through. And they say, be slow and methodical about it. Don't try and go too fast because it has a sensor here. It has a sensor in the middle and it has a sensor on the side as you're coming through. So all these are important and the machine basically needs to sense that as it's coming through. And then again, you never let go of this hand until after you've cut it and then you can let go of the tension. And then the machine will know what to do after that. So um, it works on thick fabric, on thin fabric. It's been 
a huge difference because I was getting just as frustrated as probably you were before, and now I can't. I haven't gotten it to mess up. Yeah, and that was pretty darn fast. Obviously needs to be serviced to fix those issues, but I think once you get it back um, from service, yeah, it looks amazing. Um, that is going to be a game changer. And it seems like it's like um, really, in my opinion, stupid you have to do something like that. But it absolutely changes the way this, the machine sews. It is like a night and day different machine um, after you've tensioned that initially properly. And I'm going cross stitching so I went this way before and now I'm coming this way and so it's even going across the old stitches and I'm telling you it is awesome so all right I'm going to stop it there um, hopefully that helps you